We are being told to show that tan inverse over half plus tan inverse of 1 over 5 is equal to tan inverse of 7 over 9. How do we deal with this question? Alright, so let's look at the solution. So what we're going to do is the first step is we're going to look at everything from the left hand side. We're going to try to prove from the left hand side into the right hand side since this is actually a proof question. So what we're going to do is we're going to let A to represent tan inverse over half. And then we're going to let b to represent tan inverse of 1 over 5. So when we've done this, we can actually now see from here that this means that tan of a is equal to a half. And then the same thing here, we can also see it means that tan b is 1 over 5. So now that we know that and we've actually replaced them that way, we can actually see that now what we'll have is a plus b being equal to tan inverse of 7 over 9. And then... We can actually see that now we can actually bring this tan to this side. So when you do that, we'll actually have tan a plus b being equal to 7 over 9. So you may ask yourself, why did I actually put this value on the right hand side? It's because I wanted to know and to see clearly what direction that I actually need to go. Since the value that we need to prove on the other side is actually a tan inverse of 7 over 9, and then we've given this and this the value a and b, what we can see is what we actually have to prove is that tan of a plus b is going to be equal to 7 over 9. So the proof actually comes from tan a plus b right here. So I have to prove that tan a plus b shall be equal to 7 over 9. So now again we're going to look at this left hand side right here. So remember tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b. So we're going to substitute the value. So where there is tan a we put a half and where there is tan b we put 1 over 5. Then right here we can see that we have their products. 1 over 2 times 1 over 5. So as you can see at the top, when you add the 2, we'll have 5 plus 2 over 10. And then at the bottom, when you open these brackets, actually multiply this and this will get 1 over 10. And then right at the top, we'll have 7 over 10. Then at the bottom, when you find the LCM, we'll actually see we'll have 10 minus 1 over 10, which is 9 over 10. So we'll have 10 A plus B equal to 7 over 10 divided by 9 over 10, which can be represented as this. Now, as you can see, we can actually change that division sign into a multiplication sign and we'll have 7 over 10 times 10 over 9, which shall be equal to 7 over 9. So, you can say that tan A plus B is equal to 7 over 9. Now, all we can also see that we can actually now put everything back into the terms of A plus B by taking the tan to that side. So, you can see that A plus B shall be equal to tan inverse of 7 over 9. But remember that A represents tan inverse over half and b represents tan inverse of 1 over 5. So therefore, tan inverse over half plus tan inverse of 1 over 5 is equal to tan inverse of 7 over 9 and hence we've proved this.